Hello everyone, this is a case of a facial neuroparalysis in a 5-year-old cat. Uh, it's usually caused by the dysfunction of the facial nerve, which is cranial nerve 7, which causes the paralysis of the muscles of facial expression, which includes the ears, eyelids, lips and nostrils. So the physical examination findings in such cases are usually um, change in facial symmetry. So there is a lip and ear droop. There is a wide palpebral fissure. There is a minor collapse of the nostril. Also, there is decreased or absent palpebral reflex, decreased or absent menus response. And chronically, the patients may have a facial muscle contraction towards the affected side due to the muscle fibrosis subsequent to the paralysis. The reasons or uh, probably the historical findings that the owner may report are messy eating, the food left around the mouth, excessive drooling on one affected side, facial asymmetry and a classically inability to close the eyelids or rubbing and ocular discharge or even uh, corneal ulceration which is due to the lack of closure of the eyelid which leads to a lack of decreased tear production, mucopurulin discharge and keratoconjunctivitis. The causes of such cases are usually idiopathic. The, uh, we don't get to know what is the real cause. Sometimes it could be metabolic due to hypothyroidism. It could be part of infections as in otitis media or interna. It could be uh, nasopharyngeal polyps, which is more common in cats than in dogs. And it could be also due to neuritis. It could also be iatrogenic uh, due to surgical ablation of the external ear canal. Sometimes um, it could be an automobile accident, which caused a head trauma, which resulted in the fracture of the petrous temporal bone. Also, some cases are due to toxic um, tick bite paralysis and another reason is neoplastic um, changes, oral um, squamous cell carcinoma. Sometimes it's uh, immune mediated like poly radiculoneuritis and it could also be metabolic. So that's the case. Thank you for watching. See you next time.